why was the square invented? Like, who was the first person to see a square and know that it was a square? I want to learn about circles. What's 100 times 120? I would want to learn about fractions. What is multiplication? I think kids are curious about everything, and math is no exception. My name is Joanna Trippy, and I've been teaching at Mary Blair Elementary for 20 years. At the end of first grade, I hope my students are strong, confident mathematicians. When I say, today we get to do motion math for a station, it's a collective cheer. I was like jumping everywhere, just jumping on numbers, getting new ones, and over and over again. It's fun jumping on numbers. For me, it works so perfectly in that math stations. I needed a computer game the kids could get onto by themselves, and that wasn't going to bore them after five minutes or overwhelm them. There's the bubbles with numbers in it. Your fish will have a number on it. You add them or you subtract them to get the number on your fish. It makes you learn. It makes you smart. And I use all different kinds of numbers that I needed and I made 120. Your brain's like, oh, I need to add that number and that number. But then you add it up and it's not the correct number. And like your brain just keeps going and going and going. It gives you like a crazy feeling like it helps you learn a lot. The biggest benefit for my classroom so far has been that it differentiates for the kids. My high kids don't feel defeated because it's not repetitive and my low kids feel like they're having success. So everybody loves to spend time on it. My kids ask for it all the time. Even if I haven't given that option for a day, I want them to know that we use math every single day in our world, and that's something that they should love. My favorite game is the frog game. You get to the dogs from the frogs. So if your number was 99 and you started at one, you could zoom out and go to the dogs, which is 10, and then you would get to 90 and you would almost be at 100, and then you could zoom back into the frogs. If it wasn't 99, you would have to try to find it. Math can be um, scary for some kids, and some kids just don't feel like they're good mathematicians. So I think games help provide that outlet for them to feel like, wow, I can do this. It's a great way to reinforce those skills that they need in math. If a student is loving what they're doing, they're going to learn it better. Sometimes math can challenge me, and from that challenge, I learn a lot and I really like to learn.